Hey, what's going on, guys? The Horror Man back on the 31 Days of the Horror Man with the next review of the Fangoria Challenge. This time, Jason and I watched Ginger Snaps. Ginger Snaps is a 2000 horror film starring Jason's Scream Queen girlfriend, Catherine Isabel, and, according to Fangoria, is one of the 101 best horror movies you've never seen. Catherine Isabel plays Ginger, and Emily Perkins plays her slightly younger sister, Bridget. Fun facts about those two actresses, they both auditioned for the movie on the same day. They were also born in the same hospital, attended the same preschool, elementary school, and private school, and they both worked their way through the same talent agency. It seems fitting that as two sisters, they are very close in the movie. So close, in fact, that they have a death pact. They promise each other they will die together before the age of 16. Ginger has almost reached that age, and Bridget has just turned 15. Ginger and Bridget are outcasts, and they're obsessed with death. They enjoy taking photos of themselves, pretending they are dead, in various situations. They're socially awkward, and also awkward at home, around their parents. They seem to only get each other. The sisters also have in common the fact that neither of them have yet gotten their first period. This is a bit strange, considering their ages. Recently, dogs have been showing up mutilated in their nice suburban neighborhood. And then, one night while out for a walk, Ginger gets her period. Instantly, she is attacked by some animal, and it just so happens that there's a full moon that night. Bridget is able to pull her sister to safety before she is completely slaughtered. The animal runs out into the road and is hit by a van driven by a guy named Sam. Sam swears it was a lycanthrope. For those of you who don't know what that is, it's a werewolf. After the attack, Ginger, of course, begins acting strange. She becomes moodier, hornier, hungrier, and deadlier. Hair grows from the claw marks where she was attacked, and it grows in other places as well. And Ginger also grows a tail. She starts to become a bit more popular at school. She fights with the other popular girls and seduces the guys. Oh, and she kills animals and some people, too. Ginger is obviously becoming, if you haven't figured it out by now, a werewolf. Meanwhile, Bridget and Sam try to find a cure. All of this happens, by the way, in the month of October, leading up to Halloween. There is even a scene set at a Halloween party making this a perfect watch for the 31 Days of the Horror Man. Will Bridget and Sam find a cure, or will Ginger complete her transformation? Ginger Snaps is such a great movie to watch this time of year. Like I said, it's set in October in a nice suburban neighborhood. There are leaves and pumpkins all around, and Halloween decorations too. It really gives you that fall feeling. Catherine Isabel is simply gorgeous in this. I can understand what Jason sees in her. Emily Perkins is fantastically awkward. There's a darkness to Ginger Snaps. Violence, brutality, and humor. But there is also a sadness to it as well. I absolutely love the practical effects. The director refused to use CGI, and I applaud that. The creature effects are so cool. I love Ginger Snaps, and it's easily one of, if not my favorite, werewolf movie. Which is why I'm also recommending Bad Moon, the werewolf movie I typically say is my favorite. I'd say it's definitely between these two. Bad Moon is a 1996 horror film about a man named Ted who goes searching for a cure after he is bitten by a werewolf. This one also prominently features a dog, but... That's all I'll say. If you haven't seen Bad Moon, check it out. And I recommend this Scream Factory release, since it includes two versions of the film, a director's cut and the original theatrical cut. Scream Factory also released this edition of Ginger Snaps. Have you seen it? 
If so, what do you think of it? Comment below and let me know. And please be sure to check out Jason's review. What's up next in the Fangoria Challenge? Check back soon to find out. Thanks for watching guys. Hit that thumbs up and be kind. Subscribe.